What's going on guys? Kilo here with MadenTurf.com. In this video, we're just going to go over a real quick brief explanation for those that don't know why PA end around works. All right, so we're going to come out in the popular place, single back bunch PA end around. And basically the way people run this is they go ahead and they streak the B receiver. Now they have three reads on the play pretty much. Uh, very few people actually throw the streak, although I guess it is kind of like the last read on the play. Uh, the first read is going to be the quick pass over there to the uh, the left receiver. And this is really more of a blind faith throw than I would really call it a read. Um, and then, you know, basically if that doesn't pan out for you, what they're going to do is they're going to roll out to the right of screen. And they're either going to throw the running back in the flat or they're going to wait for the zone to suck down off of the corner. And then they're going to go ahead and throw that over top of your head. Um, and that's basically the way the play that works. And the reason that it works that way is, number one, on the left side, that receiver is actually unbumpable. And the direction of his route does just a phenomenal job of getting in between zones. So it makes it really, really difficult to guard. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that just a couple times here for you guys. You can see how he just catches it in front of the safeties behind the linebackers. And, I mean, it's just it's a really problem area for the defense in zone. Um, you know, you're going to get inside of them pretty much all the time, uh, you know, unless somebody happens to make a great play and the receiver drops the ball. And then another reason that that route is so tough is because man coverage, actually, it's pretty much unbumpable. I mean, he's, you know, he kind of gets a little rub sometimes against two man under, but for the most part, it's it's never going to be pressed. So you just kind of, I mean, right there, you can see he was trying to press him and he got off of the coverage and just, you know, got inside of the zones again. And, you know, it was just perfect. Um, and then on the second part of the play, like I said, what they're going to do is they're going to roll out like this and they're going to wait for the zones to suck down. And no zone sucked down there, of course. But the running back went up the field, and we went ahead and got that completion. So that's that's the second part of the play. Let's see if we can get a good one here where the zone just kind of like just just drops off. There it is. Zone dropped off the receiver, and we went ahead and threw over top. And unfortunately, the reason that that works is because of bad programming, um, which is you know not a shocker with EA. Unfortunately, bad programming is kind of the uh, the norm. Right there, we had a real heavy man blitz. So you see when we rolled out, we just went ahead and threw it to the running back in the flat. And because of the way that his route works, he beats his man to that area every time. Uh, right there, they had a contain. And that's, you know, stop. part one of stopping the play is to stop the rollout with the contain. But um, let's see if we no contain this time so we can get outside. It's man coverage, but the corner's wide open. So, I mean, this is basically the reason that the play works. The reason that the play works is because of that left side route being just so amazing against man or zone. Unbumpable, gets in between the zones. And then on the right side, both of those routes, the corner and the running back, both beat man coverage. And then against zone, the running back gets out there before the zone does because the zone is dropping back on the corner initially. And then when the quarterback gets to the right of the screen, the zone drops down on the quarterback, which leaves the corner open. So it just it's a very, very, very problem. problem Problesome? I don't know the word I'm trying to use, but it's a very irritating play. And what we're going to do in the next couple setups here is we're going to show you ways, guys, to go ahead and cage this play up so that you can no longer be plagued by it because it's running rampant in the Madden community right now, just making everybody's life hell. So hopefully you guys can get some stuff out of the video and really enjoy being able to lock up pretty much what people are running now as their entire offense. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Peace.